So hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my shrimp zucchini alfredo and everything you'll need is here, of course your shrimp, um, you'll need seasonings of your choice, you'll need for your sauce, cream cheese, my good old Kerrygold butter, um, I only had the minced garlic, not fresh minced garlic, so that's why you see that, you're going to need heavy whipping cream, more spices of your choice um of course cheeses i use mozzarella and parmesan cheese um back in the cuts right there you see the actual spiralizer i love that thing but you gotta be careful because you, cause you can cut yourself um and then of course you'll need the zucchini which is here i have three of them i only use two but yeah this is everything you'll need so first things first, I went ahead and washed and cut my zucchinis in half um, because they were too long to actually fit into the spiralizer so I had to do what I could do. Um, but yeah, if you don't have one of these and you're trying to eat a little bit healthier as far as the noodles go, I suggest you get one. So y'all just see those spirals, look at that, yes, love the spirals. So I'm just going to get all this spiraled up so that we can get ready to get these suckers dry. Now this step is so important. Lay paper towels down on some type of cooking sheet or cooking rack, something, because zucchini holds a lot of water. And if you do not do this step, you will have a soupy mess. Trust me, I've done this before already and it looked like I was eating zucchini noodle soup. Um, and even then I didn't get all the water out as you'll see in the end of the video when I played it. But you need to try to, you know, put the noodles on paper towels so that the paper towel can absorb the water. And try not to pile them up together, which clearly I didn't do a great job. I did the best that I could. And you want to sprinkle some salt on them as well because the salt will help absorb some of the moisture as well. And then you're going to also put some paper towel on top to try to get as much water out as possible. And we're just going to sit these to the side. Um just so the water can you know get sucked up that's the only downside to these noodles but other than that i love them it's time for the shrimp so i'm just taking one tablespoon of virgin olive oil to put in my pan um, and now we're just going to go ahead and take some of that minced garlic please if you can get fresh get it i didn't have that and i wasn't about to go back to the store so i'm just gonna let that mix that around get it all mixed up just so that the minced garlic can get um soft because you don't want any hard chunks and now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some shrimp i had small shrimp i think it's best if you get like medium to large shrimp um I just think the presentation looks better and I just like bigger shrimp but this was all I had on hand so I'm not gonna put all of them in there because I don't want to crowd the pan up yeah 
you want to make sure you get the garlic and the olive oil mixed in really good with the shrimp and don't overcook the shrimp I do let it sit for a little bit just to you know soften the shrimp a little bit more because the shrimp pretty much is already cooked um, and but you don't want to overcook it um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shrimp out and set it to the side so we can get this cream sauce going Now you're gonna take um, two tablespoons of butter and just melt that down into a really hot pan. Now I did lose a clip here you guys so um, this also requires four ounces of cream cheese which I don't know how I lost the clip but it's gone. Um, so I'm gonna now add my um, half cup of heavy whipping cream and just get all that mixed up um, until the cream cheese melts down so that we can get this sauce going I don't know where my clip went I actually lost like two clips to be honest because I lost the clip of the actual um, half cup of Parmesan cheese that we needed to add in there which I've already done and you see it's melting down it still has a few clunks in it but not too much and then this is where you'll add your salt and pepper for taste and parsley and one fourth cup of also red pepper flakes if you want it to do now or you could do after you add the shrimp so you just pretty much mix everything up Now you can go ahead and add in your zucchini noodles. Um, I would add and try to mix and then add more. That way things don't get messy and make sure every noodle is covered. And that is pretty much it. I'm just going to continue to add zucchini noodles and just get everything mixed on up. And just to get the zucchini nice and soft, I would cook this about five to seven more minutes on a low heat, not too high or medium to low heat. And then that's pretty much it. And your dish is done. So this is one of my favorite keto meals. Like I can still eat my nice meal and it's still keto friendly. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready to plate this and i'm glad you guys enjoyed oh, i should say i hope you guys enjoyed this and since you guys wanted to see what i eat um this is just one of the meals i will try to continue to make more but yeah comment below let me know what you think if there's anything you think i could have changed and i really do hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see y'all in my next one bye